Welcome to the DMS Light video training series. Today we are going to create an event based on motion. The DMS Light application should already be running with the Setup tab selected. If not, please start DMS Light and go to the Setup tab. Go to the Configuration pane and select Event Motion. Click on the Add option found near the bottom right corner of the screen. This will bring up the Add Event dialog box where the motion based event is programmed. Near the top of the Add Event dialog box is the event selection. Click on Select. If you have multiple DVRs listed as I do, scroll through them till you find the DVR you require. In my case, I am going to use the DR4HD I have at the bottom of the list. From the DVR, select the motion channel of choice by clicking on it. The selected motion channel should now be shown to the right of the event option. The next option is a selection for the notification by sound of the event. When the selected event trips, the PC running DMS Lite will emit a sound to alert the viewer. Let's go ahead and put a check mark there to enable the alert by sound. DMS Lite also offers a screen pop-up alert as an event option. The screen pop-up alert will pop up a video channel regardless of where the user is in DMS Lite. Let's put a check mark in the screen pop-up option as well. The camera view shown in the screen pop-up is user selectable. Click on the screen pop-up's select option. In my case, I'm going to use a camera from the DR4HD I have at the bottom of the list. Now, let's select the duration for which the screen pop-up will display. Click on the down arrow to display options that range from 1 second to 30 seconds. I'm going to select 3 seconds for the duration, but feel free to select a duration that works for you. The last option to select from is to link the motion channel to an alarm output. This might be used in a case involving a gate, a door, a buzzer, or a microphone. In my case, I have no need for an alarm output link. If you do, go ahead and select an alarm output channel. After selecting the options for the motion event, go to the OK option and click on it. The new motion event should be listed under the event list. To enable the new motion event, locate the Apply option and click on it. DMS Lite will present a confirmation box. Locate the Yes option and click on it. DMS Lite will confirm it saved the new event with a dialog box and an OK confirmation. Click on the OK option or wait for it to time out. Now let's see how an event based on motion works. Locate the Live tab in the top left corner and click on it. I already have a live 1 plus 5 screen arrangement running, but feel free to set up your own screen arrangement. When motion is detected on the selected motion channel, the screen pop-up will appear. After the allotted time, 3 seconds in my case, the screen pop-up will disappear. Depending on if DMS Lite is local or remote to the DVR, a 1 to 3 second delay in appearance is normal. Optimizing the network connections can help reduce the delay, but is beyond the scope of this video. Please look to your IT person for help in optimizing your network. Thank you for viewing this DMS Lite training video related to creating a motion-based event. Keep an eye on our website for more training videos, and if you don't see what you need, please email us.